It's in, and it's early actually. The Martian War Machine model. Yes, that's right. This has been something I've been looking forward to. Now we have this information right here. It tells us just how much there is. The paints and so forth are not included. This is just great. Now we come across. There's that. Now remember the plastic salon. And I just came home and this was right here. Now it originally said this was coming Monday, not today. But you can get a basic look right there. Um, the ships were chrome. I love the fact that it's got that little world base and stuff. And believe it or not, I'm just playing the display base. So this is pretty cool. Paramount Pictures, this is 2014. Um, there were two of these. One of them is actually already plated. But I'm looking forward to this for a couple of reasons. One is I can probably do some really cool stuff with this. So I will be doing some tests as well. But I want to get this into. Notice there's nothing on the bottom. So it's not like the Star Trek ones to do that. So really cool. And I love the scale. Anyways, let's get in. Oh, and uh, here's information from the company that I got it from if you're interested. <laughs> like Amazon, eBay, or Walmart. And they actually, I think they've come through pretty good. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Although, um, it was funny. The uh, United States Postal Service said this was in my mailbox. I didn't know my mailbox was that freaking big. I must have a freaking huge mailbox. When the truth is, my mailbox is way smaller than this box. Uh, okay, let's get in. Trusty throwing knife, and hopefully if everything works out, I'll have some more stuff for tomorrow. Um, you know, I'm working on some other things, too. So here we go. All right. Trusty throwing knife is in. Ah, uh, the kunai goes through. And here we go. All right, classic coming off. I might actually have to retake my picture. A thumbnail. <laughs> it's a lot of plastic. Okay. Um, I have no clue what to expect. Oh, oh hold on. I, I wonder if you can see it. Right there on the box, you see those little, the two green things on the bottom? Notice that there's like these uh, green rays coming out. This is still technically a tripod, even though it looks like it's flying through the air. The thing is, those right there are like these electro beams in the movie that came down, and it actually is still a tripod. It still has these three things, which is pretty cool. <laughs> That's what they basically wanted to look like. It's even got like a finish. Now, I have, as you can see here, the right kind of copper paint for it, so I couldn't find any spray paint either. That's another thing that surprised me. I went looking for it today because, um, it might be useful. They didn't have anything. All right. Moment of truth. Here we go. This isn't going to... Whoa. Well, it's definitely different. The uh, one they showed in the picture was, believe it or not, white. This is gray. All right. So I'm going to carefully take it out. Ah. One cool thing, though, is, as you can see here, is that the clear pieces are actually colored. They are actually clear, crystal, see through here we have uh, quite a few pieces too. There's, wow, there's actually a screw in there for this thing too. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a screw. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So we have the two sides for the, uh, something now. there's a lot in here. In here, I mean, there's a lot. I'm looking forward to this. All right. Now, let's bring out the main piece. Ah, there's one of the other greens right there. So, there are two. Uh, there's the third one. Okay, good. They're in there. See, look. There's the other two little green pieces. They are in there. And, wow, this is, um, this is actually kind of big. I mean, look at that. Even though it's still in the plastic. That's actually that's actually pretty big. This thing has got some size to it. And there's the base. 
War of the Worlds. Notice the whole, um, where's, ah, unlike that, I'm going to have to paint it. Now, that's not bad. I can, I can do my own little thing right there. And I've done little, um, I've done little fine tooth work like that before. I did this really cool uh, mosaic model of uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor, and I believe it had the Arizona and another ship. And I had to very carefully um, paint everything. I wish I still had it because it also had like where the bombs had hit and the water comes out. And I was able to paint in the white, the little white things on the caps and made it look really real. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see here, we have that. We have a lot. And we have the two things. And, ah, and you can just make out on the inside right there. See that little red piece? That's the, uh, that's the eye. So that's pretty cool. So what does this mean? Well, this means, just give me one moment. Where are you? I knew I put you around. Oh, that's right. Damn it. <laughs> I'm having a little leg trouble. Everything's trying to kill me. <laughs> it means that I can use this stuff, my glow-in-the-dark paints. And I have the standard stuff here, green, glow-in-the-dark, and I have this stuff right here. This stuff, this glow-in-the-dark phosphorescent paint, which, um, you know, you can put on clothing or you can use the paint stuff. This stuff has got some serious life to it, which is cool. But these work, too, and I have green, red, um, a blue, and I think I've even seen a white, but I have red, green, blue, and orange. So that's pretty cool. So that means no matter what, I can get some glow-in-the-dark stuff going. <laughs> oh, which is actually pretty cool. And I'm going to check how the models go together before I do any kind of finalization work. Because, as you can tell with um, the fact that they're silver and I have to do a lot of painting before I even start construction, uh, it's not going to be easy. I mean, it's not like something like where I can get away with the Enterprise looking like this and it still looks pretty cool for this... Uh, Discovery Era Enterprise. And as you'll notice, she's a little bit more complete. There's still a few pieces, but uh, pretty cool. Again, this was just using normal paints. Just normal paints. No major funky ones. And she's pretty nice. But I do want to give this model an extra oomph. And this is where these guys come in handy. And uh, let's take one look at the um, instruction manual right here. Pretty cool. Oh, it actually gives a little bit on the movie, too. That's pretty cool. And, oh, good. There is our color palette for the stand and so forth, which is cool. But, ah, remember, this is not a very big model. Not at all. This is not a big model. Thank God. And there we go. Basic construction. She's very easy to build. The problem is going to be ensuring that everything is done just right and that everything works, including with the weird stuff I'm planning to do. And as you can see here, we have like uh, three separate sections and stuff, and then of course the stand and everything. This is going to take some time to build, but it's also because I don't want to rush it and I want to do it right. Oh, and uh, again, like I said, see those three things on the bottom? In the movie, those project the force field that keeps the ship up and allows it to move. So it still technically is a tripod, which is pretty cool. So I am just looking forward to this. And this is not small. This thing has got some size to it. I'm actually kind of impressed how big it is. And here's the front. That's where uh, where that front piece is going to go. Now this, huh? I got more cut out for me. I'm going to have to figure all of this out. I don't want to flood the piece with 
with the uh, the glow in the dark stuff because I don't want to interfere with that because it looks just so cool the way it is. But I can probably, with a little checking, get a very clear thing, and I might do a basic build before I do anything. And oh, and there's the little uh, clear piece. There's the eye, outer eye, and then there's the inner eye. There's a lot of a lot of detail, and as you can see there. There's a central part that the um, that the uh, the laser eye goes into, and that's oh wait, this thing will probably be able to move side to side still. That's pretty cool. Either way, I'm looking forward to this. It's not going to be a very difficult build. It's just going to be getting everything just right. That's going to be the hard part. But if I do this right, this is going to be really cool, really really cool. So yeah, I want to get this started, but I also do not want to mess it up because this is like icon iconic i mean it's just wow okay guys um i'll let you know how i'm going with it like and subscribe hit the bell for notifications and tell me if you would like me to get the one that's also chrome plated as i will be doing experiments with this before i do any major construction so with that being said guys like and subscribe and hit the bell for notification. And thanks to my new subscribers, and I will see you guys later. Bye.